purpose of this podcast is to help you set up for a good night's sleep, wake up refreshed, and possibly remembering some of those astral travels that you have taken while you were sleeping. I'm going to lead you through a guided visualization to help you set up for the night, but please know this takes practice and something that you need to do on a regular basis in order to make it work for you. You will probably experience a difference right away, but not notice a significant difference until you can tweak it, make it your own, and do it on a regular basis. So go ahead and get comfortable, relax, make yourself at home in your bed or your chair or wherever you want to do this visualization. And once you're settled in, go ahead and just close your eyes. I want you to keep in mind that this is all about intention. Everything that you do in this visualization is about intention. It shouldn't take effort. And if the more you put intention into it, the more you'll get out of it. So with intention, go ahead and visualize a version of yourself that is that version of you that goes off into the night while you sleep. This version of yourself should look just like you If it has an arm in the wrong place or it looks a little distorted, go ahead and just with intention, give it a nice healing. Clean it up. Help it look just like you look. Right down to the hair, the eyes, the nose, the chin, and all that beautiful body of yours. It's making sure that it looks just like you. Say hello to it and recognize that there is this beautiful light cord that goes from your belly button of your physical body to the belly button of your astral body. Just imagining that that's all clean and clear and a nice flexible connection so that your astral can go anywhere it wants to go. Check and make sure that your astral body is grounded. You can do this by just imagining a nice cord coming from the base of the spine going down into the earth and opening as wide as your hips and just hollowed out to let anything go that you were letting go while you sleep. You can do the same activity for your physical body, just connecting a nice beautiful cord to the root of your spine, dropping it down to the center of the earth and opening it as wide as your hips. Once you've done this and you feel like you're connected to your astral body with your physical body, just check in with your energy centers, just seeing if they're balanced, both in your physical body and your astral body, and you can do this at the same time if you want. First checking in with that root chakra that's at the base of the spine, just looking at it, noticing that it's spinning, nice beautiful color, suits you. Traveling up to the second chakra, just checking in, making sure that that looks similar to the same size as the first, spinning beautifully and balanced, right at your pelvic bone. Then your third chakra, around your belly button. Going up to your fourth, at your heart, just seeing them all spinning in concert with each other in balanced form. Fifth chakra at your throat, your sixth at your center of your head, and then into your seventh, right above your head, just seeing them all balanced and just really beautifully centered. Now imagine that you are giving your physical body a brown color in that seventh. Just Put a nice, beautiful, chocolatey brown in there. Notice that it spins, filling in the rest of your body and your space with that same brown color. Everything is still balanced, but the soothing brownness just fills your space behind you, in front of you, down in your toes, your ankles, your knees 
to your hips and your chest, all the way out, spouting out the top of your head, just letting that color just fill you and soothe you. Now as you are doing this, imagine that you are giving your astral body some advice on what you might do while you're sleeping. Do you want to just get a good night's rest, wake up feeling rested? Maybe you want to feel like you did some healing for yourself or for someone you love. Maybe you want to go on a fun vacation, go to someplace new, even to a different universe. There's no limits on the astral, so just go ahead and just imagine whatever you want to imagine. Keeping in mind that you're still working with this brown color around you, but you're just giving your astral some guidance. I'd really like to go to the beautiful Bahamas tonight. I'd really like to offer my mother some healing and help. Whatever it is, just put it in there in that conversation with your astral, just with ease and intention. And as you begin to do this more and more, you can kind of explore with what this means. Maybe you want to meet guides. Maybe you want to get more information about something. You can even teach somebody else how to do something. Just giving yourself that unlimited potential on the astral. And then imagine that you're tucked snug in bed if you're not already and giving your body permission to be covered in this beautiful protective shield around you, your aura that's protecting your physical body. And your astral body can lift itself up looking just like you, but with that nice light cord, lift yourself up out of your body, traveling out of that shield, thanking your body for all its help it's given you your body does so much for you giving it an opportunity to rest while you go off and have some fun as a spirit just travel off into the night anywhere you want to go don't overthink it just visualize your astral body going off and doing those things that you told it to do and maybe adding an extra little spice in there of what it comes up with that you need And you can imagine this visualization as you go off to sleep. And if you're ready to not meditate anymore and come out of this visualization, you can just imagine that astral body returning back to your body. Bringing with it all that information that it went off and did, all that freedom and joy, boundless opportunities, back to your body. And now imagine that there's a little tiny box of information in your third chakra. So this is down in this belly button area. Just go ahead and notice that that's your records of where you travel. And you may choose to check in with it once in a while, see what you can remember, maybe journal, write that down. But just knowing that that box lets you have that universal information that you go off and get in the astral. And as you are coming out of this meditation visualization, just imagine yourself filling in with that gold energy that is yours from the seventh. So if you're waking up and not using this to fall asleep, just fill yourself in with the beautiful gold vibrating energy instead of that brown, and then let it just naturally return to a color that feels comfortable to you. And open your eyes and notice that you feel refreshed and ready for a new day. I hope this finds you well and you enjoyed this podcast. Thank you very much for listening.